Welcome everyone to the Honest Review. Today we're going to be having a look at the ModMic USB and then the ModMic Wireless. These microphones specifically are engineered to give you really clean, high quality audio and they're made to mount to your existing headset. Both of these mics are made by Antlion Audio, or if we wanted to add some finesse to that, Antlion. Now these do work plug and play on PC, Windows, Mac, Linux, and PlayStation 4 as well. Sadly, however, they don't work with the Xbox console lineup. These have a wide variety of uses because of how high the quality is. So whether or not I wanna use these to replace my poor in-game microphone that's on my gaming headset, I could throw this into OBS and just use it for a streaming mic or into Discord for communicating with my teammates or into some aftermarket software where we can enhance the already really good microphone quality and get almost studio grade audio out of them. Naturally, we'll be showing you our tests of these microphones, but first let me break down everything that comes with them and how they work. Now the ModMic wireless does use Qualcomm aptX low latency technology. So if you're worried about the signal being delayed, don't. So it's got a 12 hour battery life and it has three indicator lights on the USB dongle as well as the ModMic wireless itself. So as soon as you plug this into your USB port on your PC or your PlayStation 4, and then press that on button for the mod mic, it will pair automatically. Now the button on the mod mic wireless does serve as a quick mute button and then there is a third indicator light which will shine yellow if your battery is getting low. And the indicator light for low battery will also show up on the USB dongle as well. Now the mod mic mounts to your existing headset via a very, very sticky adhesive onto a magnet plate. You'll need to really line this up as to the angle that you want on your headset before you get this adhesive on. Cause I can go ahead and tell you that adhesive is really, really strong. I did pair this with my studio reference headphones, the Bear Dynamic DT990s. So even though the mounting plate didn't fully mount onto this long strip of surface area that I chose to use, it still holds no problem. I'm definitely satisfied with the strength here of this adhesive for the base magnet. And of course we have a micro USB charging port at the top of the ModMic wireless. So just like the ModMic wireless, the ModMic wired mounting solution can be flipped and I can rotate this around and mount on the right hand side of the headset or turn it back around and have it set up to mount on the left. And just like the wireless option, we do have a button here for a quick mute that's a little bit further down the line from the mic. Now something a little bit different that you'll notice about the wired mod mic is that they have these little clips that are made to go directly on the cables and to run into your existing headset wires. And they do that so that after you mount this to the headset itself, you can tie these cords closely with little clips all the way down so you have a neat unified single cord coming off of your headset. So then we have a switch here right at the microphone and this does toggle us between a noise canceling mode and then a broadcaster mode. Now the noise canceling mode is unidirectional and it focuses on picking up directly what is in front of it and not the rest of the spatial area around you. Now the broadcaster mode does have a larger frequency range but it will also pick up more of that background noise because of that. So really quickly let's go ahead and run a sound test for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on PC and OBS as if I was gonna be using it as my commentary mic or as a mic for game chat with my teammates. Testing the mod mic wireless in standard broadcast mode. Testing one, two, three. Testing the mod mic wireless in standard mode. Testing one, two, three. Testing the mod mic wireless in noise canceling mode. Testing one, two, three. Testing the mod mic wireless in noise canceling mode. Testing one, two, three. And now we're going to test this in Adobe Audition. We're going to test this with some typical voiceover effects that I usually put on like dynamics processing, parametric EQ, multiband compressor, and speech volume leveler. I typically use these for clients when I'm doing voiceover sessions. And let's see how this really stacks up. Testing the mod mic wireless, standard broadcast mode, raw audio, testing one, two, three. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's surprisingly good. A little crunchy on the high ends, not perfect, but not bad at all for headset mic. Testing the wired version of this mic in standard mode, testing one, two, three. Now testing with noise canceling enabled, testing one, two, three. And now we're gonna throw this in Audition and do the same audio effects that I did on the other version and see how it sounds. Testing the mod mic USB wired version, testing one, two, three. Standard settings broadcast mode, testing one, two, three. And not bad, it's actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's quite as sharp as the other one, but still perfectly usable, but they're both good and you're gonna get something good regardless of which one you choose.
So after reviewing the footage, both me and Dan both agree that the mod mic wireless definitely has a little more body and depth to our voices. Now I'm not sure if it's because there's a different mic built in entirely because the sound signatures between the two are really similar, or if possibly the mic itself is getting a little more power because of the built-in battery on the mod mic wireless. Now the mod mic wireless comes in at $140 and the mod mic wired USB comes in at $80. So to put this in perspective, this is just a little bit more than I paid for my my Samson G-Track Pro, which is an absolutely killer USB microphone, but I have to throw it onto a boom arm and a shock mount in order to get really clean quality and positioning of the microphone in my setup. Whereas I could just clip this onto my existing headset and I'm good to go. If I had to pick one, I'd definitely go for the wireless version just because I like the way that it sounds and the convenience factor of having wireless connection. But don't get me wrong, the USB wired version works really well and you could clip it all the way down the existing wires of your headset. And again, the big biggest selling point to both of these mics is that they can be used for anything that you need a microphone for on PC and PlayStation 4. The only real downside I have for this product really relates to streamers. So if I was streaming and I wanted to take my headset off but still communicate with my stream, the second that I take my headset off, I've just lost my stream mic. And I guess that's where a USB microphone does play into a little bit of convenience when it's above your monitor or coming into the side of your setup. You never have to worry about whether or not taking off your headset completely changes your audio setup. Small downside, but I figured I'd list it. Besides that, I don't have anything negative to say about these mics. They both perform really well. I feel like the mod mic wireless definitely sounded better out of the two. You guys, please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget, we're giving away a mod mic USB on our Instagram, which will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this no-nonsense, no BS review of the Mod Mic lineup from Ant Leon Audio. If you enjoyed this video or it's helped you, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the content. It is greatly appreciated. Notification squad, you guys freaking rock. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace.